presidents have worked for peace. We're a peaceful nation. Yet as we have learned so suddenly and so tragically, there can be no peace in a world of sudden terror. In the face of today's new threat, the only way to pursue peace is to pursue those who threaten it. We did not ask for this mission, but we will fulfill it. The name of today's military operation is Enduring Freedom. We defend not only our precious freedoms, but also the freedom of people everywhere to live and raise their children free from fear. I know many Americans feel fear today, and our government is taking strong precautions. Our law enforcement and intelligence agencies are working aggressively around America, around the world, and around the clock. At my request, many governors have activated the National Guard to strengthen airport security. We have called up reserves to reinforce our military capability and strengthen the protection of our homeland. In the months ahead, our patience will be one of our strengths. Patience with the long waits that will result from tighter security. Patience in understanding that it will take time to achieve our goals. Patience in all the sacrifices that may come. Today, those sacrifices are being made by members of our armed forces who now defend us so far from home and by their proud and worried families. A commander-in-chief sends America's sons and daughters into a battle in a foreign land only after the greatest care and a lot of prayer. We ask a lot of those who wear our uniform. We ask them to leave their loved ones, to travel great distances, to risk injury, even to be prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice of their lives. They are dedicated. They are honorable. They represent the best of our country, and we are grateful. Se han sucedido a lo largo de la tarde, tras uh, la intervención militar en Afganistán, las declaraciones de numerosos líderes europeos. Entre... They include the base of Diego Garcia, reconnaissance and other aircraft, and missile firing submarines. As well as the UK, France, Germany, Australia and Canada have also committed themselves to take part in it.